All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This time around, we're actually going to be checking out this new demo version, which I did actually cover on the channel a while back. Uh, I think it was actually a couple months ago, if I'm not mistaken, when it actually released on the PlayStation 4. It's called Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Lite. So we're checking out the Switch version just to see and compare, maybe just check out what's like, you know, all different about it. So uh, basically, before on the PlayStation variation of it, uh, you did need to have PS Plus in order to access it, okay? You could not download it without it. Um, I currently have a Nintendo, uh, I guess, membership or whatever it is for the online membership. Uh, I think it's like my Nintendo or something like that. And um, I am able to download it, so I can't tell you exactly if you do need it or not. I'm going to assume you do because this does have online features and functionality. So uh, if we scroll down here, let's go ahead and read what's going down with it all right so experience some of the key elements of xenoverse 2 for free with the light version so it will include five episodes of the story mode online matches and all the content of the hero coliseum so sounds just about right sounds exactly like how it was on the playstation 4 so uh looks like everything else is pretty much the same here right here this is exactly what i wanted to confirm with so this software includes features that support online play and nintendo switch online membership is required for the online play so i'm assuming you will need uh you know the membership in order to access this maybe you can download it but um i'm not going to promise anything yet uh, again like i said i already have the service so uh, i can't confirm 100 percent if you do need it or not but i'm going to assume that you do so uh you will need 7.4 gigs it's pretty massive i mean the game alone is pretty <laughs> substantial it's a pretty big game so let's go ahead and download it and let's check it out and see if it pretty much holds up to the ps4 version and uh yeah i'll see you guys back when we got it done all right, my friends, so here we are in Dragon Ball Universe 2 Lite for Nintendo Switch. That is quite a title, my god. All right, so looking like everything's pretty much the same here. Version 1.13.02 seems to be on the latest version and everything. So launching the Lite version of the game, you can transfer your save data, blah, blah, blah. Okay, except you guys already know all this crap. You got like 46 pages you got to go through, so... We're just going to say, okay, A-okay, we're good to go. Let's let's freaking do it. So let's go ahead and connect to the server. So you cannot play the light version of the game without connecting to the server. Obviously, like I said, you will need the online membership um, as I predicted. So hopefully that is conveyed in this video. I want people to understand that you need online. If you don't have online, it won't work. So I'm sorry. That's just you know how, how this works you know there it's almost like a way to push sales for online in a way but um you know it, it, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool and beneficial if you do have the service you're able to try out this uh almost trial version now if i'm not mistaken this will actually be going on until i think november 29th where you're you're like able to access all this now the nintendo switch version of the game had something similar to this with unlocking all the characters and stuff and it was quite annoying um but as you guys know that this game runs in 30 fps on the dock mode i think it's only like versus or online battles that you can run it in 60 so that is a bit annoying um you do have i guess like five slots again i don't even know if you would be able to even use the other slots but looks like uh everything is pretty much the same here you're limited to the saiyan males and females as well as the frieza clan i would assume that um you you can't um actually oh wait no it was the opposite my bad <laughs> i said you're limited to no 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 those are the two that you cannot use which is pretty freaking stupid it's funny because uh they know a lot of people want to try out the saiyan so unfortunately yes that is the case you will not be able to make a cac um you know based on a saiyan or a freezer race so you can only use earthlings namekians and majin so i guess for now we'll make a Namekian. I, I just random real quick. I'll just go ahead and make something real quick and then we'll get into the game and actually, you know, try this out and see how everything plays and everything. Again, it's not really going to be a big deal. Everything's pretty much the same on this so far from what I'm seeing. So I'll see you guys back over there. All right, my friends. So I just threw something together. We got my boy Pickle Slow out here. <laughs> I don't know why I just named him that, but hey, it, it, it's Gucci, man. I, I'm down for it. All right, so we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just you know scroll through all this again it's pretty much everything that we've seen we've gone through the prologue and 
uh, you know, customization like a million times in this game before. I just want to show you guys, uh, you know, pretty much the similarities and pretty much exactly how this is exactly like the one on the PS4. And uh, I actually don't know if it's on Xbox yet or not, or if they even considered to put it on there. I'm going to assume that they didn't because it was mainly like, you know, a Japan thing, but I, I guess maybe it is already out. So, I mean, you guys have seen this intro a million times before. We're going to go and skip it. So, as you can see, it says Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for Nintendo Switch. Obviously, they're not going to put the light logo because uh, you're able to transfer all your data. So, whatever you, uh, you know, complete and cover in this base game right here for this, uh, I guess, if you want to call it a demo, you're actually able to to transfer all that data over to the final game if you decide to purchase it. And I think that's one awesome thing if you do have the online membership, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is 20 bucks a year. So it's like, you know, $20, you get a full annual service of it. And I think that's a great deal in my opinion, better than a PlayStation. So if you have a Switch and a PlayStation and you're thinking about getting this game, I mean, there's at this point, I'd say just get the game, like honestly. But if you want to try it out for yourself, you have this opportunity right here to actually um you know play through it and you know see like oh, okay you know i like i like the way that the game functions i like the way it feels and everything um obviously on the switch version it's uh less less graphically uh and visually appealing in my opinion i mean it, it really is because it's like i think it's i think it is intended to people like look at that shadow bro oh my god it looks awful i don't even know if it looks like that in the pc or the ps4 version to my knowledge it doesn't um from what i've played obviously it doesn't run in 60 fps which is quite annoying uh you do have to play it in like versus mode or something which is kind of stupid i don't understand why that's the case but they kind of just did that so uh, I should be able to skip all this as well. We're going to go and go through all the trials and everything, and I want to showcase all the characters that you're able to use. If I'm not mistaken, if you did buy DLC for this game, you do get uh, those characters unlocked. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, don't, you know, I'm not going to promise anything, but on the PS4 version, if you did, for example, buy the DLC, it should load up in your game. And I would get questions from a lot of people asking, oh, well, how do you have the DLC and I don't have the DLC? Well, because I purchased the DLC on my original game so you can still have the original game and this game coexist with one another because they will use like the same sort of like you know dlc files and everything so let's go ahead and skip through all this shout out to orange star high school you ever wanted to go to orange star high school sometime all right so um we got supreme kind of time blah 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 she looks like she's pretty much going to be you know the same walkthrough of everything it's going to save up be gucci good to go can I please skip through all this? And one thing I, I will let you guys know so far from what I'm playing, and one thing I don't recall is that the Switch version, I don't remember, it, like, running this slow and loading this slow. Like, no pun intended, but, like, seriously, this is taking, like, decades. Like, my God. Look, it, it, look it's loading. I'm showing you guys the real time here. I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, skip or anything here. Just for that. Just to load this screen. It took that long. Understandable, because this game it was meant for the graphics and capabilities of a PlayStation and a very high-end PC. Not a super high-end PC, but, you know, not the Nintendo Switch service and software. You know what I mean? But, I mean, that's just from what I remember. Uh, I don't remember it being that slow. Maybe I just didn't care back in the day, and I've gotten so spoiled and used to how it is on PC and, like, you know, PlayStation and all that. But, um, ZR will open your map, right? I'm using a game controller, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, basically everything looks the same. You're gonna walk through everything like normal. You can, you know, use your emotes and all that good stuff. Um, I don't think I'm able to go, like, through the, um, like, versus mode or anything yet. I don't think, I, I shouldn't be able to yet, but I'm gonna check just in case here. Just in case, you know, we might as well, uh, see if we can actually just jump straight on into it. I think you have to do that stupid tutorial. All right, so yeah, yeah, it's gonna be closed, which is so retarded and dumb, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip through her little tutorial and stuff it's gonna be the same everything is the same so far uh, i just want to show you guys what missions you can actually play and everything as well so i'll see you guys back over there all right so real quick uh this is something that i actually have noticed uh a bit with the switch version um and you know it was something that was prevalent because i do own the switch version myself but uh i just gotta point it out there is 60 fps at certain points it's very odd i guess it's like when there's not really too much going on. There's not like a ton of rendering and stuff. So as you can see, um, 
in terms of the quality, it is 100% 60 FPS for this uh, kind of stuff. Again, I think if you do like the versus mode and stuff, it's also going to be in 60 FPS. But uh, just to let you guys know, there are there is a little bit. There is a little bit going on there, and then it'll revert back probably or whatever. So uh, this is how the game should look, honestly. I think the full thing uh, should look like that. So uh, that's going to be it, and uh, let's go and move on to whatever's next uh, that I want to showcase. All right, so as you guys know, photo mode did release earlier this year as well. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if everything holds up and functions properly. This should be a mode that you can use without any issues, but I just want to see how it functions on the Switch version because I have not played it on the Switch version. So for now, let's use like Goku and freaking, I guess, Vegeta or something like that. Just just real quick, okay? It's a basic showcase. Um, obviously, you're not going to have all the stages unlocked. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go to... Uh, We'll just go to like the hyperbolic time chamber or something like that. But yeah, I just really want to see um, if it is. Yes. Okay. So it is running in a full smooth 60 FPS. Uh, like I said, in the versus mode, uh, I think online mode and any mode that where, you know, you're just doing like basic fights and stuff. This is where Sorry, it runs in the clean 60. Power. Whenever you're doing story you mode and everything, it runs in 30 and it's complete garbage. This is how the game Annoying. should look. And it seems to be running very well. I'm using a game controller. So that's why it's kind of like... It's really weird uh, for me to like pull off certain things and all that. So um, like there's some things that I want to do and it's like I'm not able to do. So uh, we also have, uh, let's see here. If I lock on, I can switch these to go to like my ultimate and stuff. Okay, there's a Kamehameha boost or whatever. I guess I'm not able to on this GameCube controller, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, you are able to change camera and everything. It runs pretty smooth, looks good. Uh, I guess saturation, all that good stuff. You can go through the customs for it if you want to. Cinematic, yes. Uh, vignettes, uh, the, the, the camera distortion, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me see here. Photo should work pretty well. Decorate your photo. Yep, everything's there. All the functionalities and stuff. Everything is Gucci and it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's actually working great. I mean, it should because, you know, the, the, you know, trial demo or whatever i mean why would you have to unlock anything i i, I, I have no idea <laughs> all right so it's going to return back to the camera yeah like i said everything looks pretty good in my opinion you got all the functionalities and all that great stuff so let's go ahead and go back over to um i guess the versus mode i want to see online real quick and make sure that's working again you guys have to have online I'm sure versus mode works just fine too i don't think that's going to be a problem but um, i do want to check online and make sure that the functionality is working plus just give you guys a little bit of extra gameplay here you know what i mean we got we gotta we gotta do the full showcase and walkthrough of um all the features that you're actually given so let's go ahead and go to uh i guess an online battle i don't even know if this will connect so let's go and do it boom 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 uh, battle limitations, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go to online communication. And we'll set up a player match. Without limitations. And let's do a quick match. Just, just to see if it'll connect within a timely manner. Uh, again, I like to test this kind of stuff out to see the difference between the Switch version and the PS4 version. Obviously, your internet is going to be a prime role in this, but it's just nice to see. So, one or more of the other consoles are not responding. What? Wow, okay. So the room is not available for the following reasons. Okay, so it looks like we're already getting issues with, um, <laughs> I guess, like, player matches. So let's go and do... Let's try it one more time. I'm going to try it one more time. The thing is, I don't think many people play the Switch version. So, oh, okay, we got we got a room. We got a room this time. Okay, I'm an elf. All right, so it does indeed work. It works fine, and that's just kind of the test I wanted to do. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the actual uh, story missions and see everything for that. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the missions that we can actually take on for the parallel quest. Obviously, you can do them online. They should uh, work for you. So it looks like you're probably going to be able to do a couple of these. Uh, I don't exactly know the exact amount. Obviously, you'll see how many you can do after you complete them because after each one that you do complete, you unlock more. Uh, I'm assuming it's not really too much. I don't think it will be. Uh, but yeah, you do get an opportunity to try out some of the parallel quests. So now let's actually see the legitimate story missions and not just the parallel quests. All right. All right. So here we are in the time vault and it looks like everything will be working exactly how it should. Um, obviously, I haven't done any of the other missions yet, but um, after you complete more, you unlock more. So uh, I think it was uh, five missions, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, I don't know how many there are for the parallel quest, but 
as I stated before, um, it is limited. You won't be able to play everything. Um, I don't think you should, I don't think you should be able to go up until you can unlock Super Saiyan and flying and stuff. Now, I could be wrong. Um, obviously, I'm not going to play through it the whole time until we get to that point to test it. I doubt you can get that far, but I think you can get pretty far with it. And you can, you know, at least, at the very least, test out everything. Obviously, you can't even, uh, you know, use a Saiyan, so it would be irrelevant to be able to unlock it. You know what I mean? But um, I did see at the beginning that uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution was shown. That you could you know use that as like you know part of the update or whatever now i don't think that's gonna work obviously because you need to have Whis and all that stuff uh you could correct me if i'm wrong but other than that i think that's pretty much it for the basic functionalities of this everything seems to be on point and on par to the actual ps4 version just thought i'd do a comparison uh dock mode and uh handheld mode works just fine it's just exactly like whenever i played on my uh you know actual game like for the nintendo switch so, yeah, everything is pretty much on point. It's just that it's a little bit slow. That's all. It's a bit slow. Um, online connection might be kind of annoying because, you know, not a lot of people play the Switch version. More people are going to play the console, like uh, PS4, or Xbox One, or whatever. But I was still able to get into a room, so it is possible. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a quick little breakdown and review of this. I didn't want to get too in-depth with it. Just wanted to show you guys. Uh, and for those of you that are thinking about getting Xenoverse 2, I highly recommend it. Um, I personally... Love this game to death. I've been playing it for the past, I think, three years now? Over three years? Uh, you know, maybe. I don't even know at this point. It's just uh, an amazing game, and I would highly recommend picking it up and trying it out. At the very least, try out this version if you have the online membership. So, that's going to be it. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.